Hi everyone, Tom Raftery here. I'm at the Smarter E event in Munich and with me, talking to me today, I have Matthias. Matthias? Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Who, and, who are you and what is it that you do? Yeah, so my name is Matthias Haag. Uh, I'm the CTO and CSO of Keiko New Energy. Okay. We're a German-based inverter manufacturer. We are celebrating our 25th anniversary this year, which is in the PV industry, would say like a millennium. <laughs> um, and yeah, we are one of the pioneers of uh, transformerless PV inverters. Okay, fantastic. And you've been in the industry, as you say, 25 years. What trends have you started to see in the industry coming in these last few years, yeah. as opposed to what it was like 25 years ago? Yeah, I mean, the industry where we are today is, is incredible compared to 20 years ago. I mean, 20 years ago, PV was very expensive. Yeah. Um, in the last years, the costs went down a lot yeah. due to economy of scale, due to innovations. And meanwhile, PV is, um, if you compare it with conventional energies, far beyond the production cost as a coal or a nuclear power plant. Yep. So we are very cost competitive, uh, we are sustainable, so there's no reason to not install PV. Sure, sure. And are you installing it for commercial industrial, for residential, for both? Where's your focus? Well, in general, we are, we are supplying the whole range. So from small residential system to CNI, means commercial and industrial rooftops, up to utility scale, which are on, on free fields, or on ground planes. And um, we, are, we are supplying inverters with focus on technology. Mm -hmm. So we want to be an innovation leader and we want to be a sustainability leader. Okay. Um, this is our main focus. Okay. And I mean, we've seen that the prices are cratering for solar, which is fantastic. As I was flying into Munich the other night, yeah. I, 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 I counted, I don't know, I, I would say looking at the commercial roof spaces that we were flying over, I would say one in maybe 15, possibly. Yeah. I know that's, that's not statistically yeah. sound data, but roughly it looked like one in 15 commercial roof spaces had solar. So that's an enormous opportunity there still, isn't there? Of course, of course, especially the, the industrial rooftops. Yeah. I mean, this is a segment which was forgotten somehow. Yeah. So whether the installations were on residential houses or on big utility scale um, and commercial rooftops suffered a little bit from the regulations. Right. It was quite complicated. Um, you had to do uh, plan certification and all that stuff, which made it at least complicated and also expensive. Yeah. Um, this changed, so the German government set up new rules, the so-called Solar Paket 1, okay. which helps in that segment a lot. Right. And uh, we just launched a new product in that segment, um, 125 kilowatt inverter with multi MPPTs, okay. so with multiple DC inputs, and with highest efficiencies and best D rating behavior. Okay. So this is, this is one of our key products um, that we are showing here on the, on the show. And, and are people, I mean, when people are thinking about rolling out solar, they're doing it obviously for sustainability reasons, would be a big part of it. But do they often think about the sustainability of the infrastructure that they're putting in? Yeah, hopefully they do. <laughs> and of course, we are, we are promoting this and, and we are telling this to our customers. Um, and if you can compare our products with, with other products on the market, I mean, we're looking on the whole phase of an inverter lifetime, right. that it is optimized from a sustainability point of view. Yeah. So we start in the design phase. Um, first of all, we use um, suppliers, which are, let's say, close to us, which can supply us with, uh, with sustainable goods for our inverters. Right. Uh, we choose the right topology, which gives us the highest efficiencies. Okay. Um, so this is in the design phase. Then in production, we're looking for, uh, let's say, um, low energy production, CO2 neutral production. So yep. our, our factory is supplied by 100% renewable energy. Nice. Um, also for the operation phase of the inverter, we're then looking that, um, of course, with the highest efficiencies, you get the best yield. Yep. And also we reduce the nighttime losses, so that also during night, when the inverter still has to communicate, um, it's, it's on a very low level of energy consumption in okay. that period. Okay. 
And when it comes to end of life, um, the components that we use are recyclable, or most of the components that we use are recyclable. Okay. It's aluminum, um, it's copper, um, and, and, and that's something that the inverter, I mean, is not dead when he's not operating anymore, so yeah. you can reuse some of the components. So it's designed for circularity. Yes, exactly. Fantastic. And what about things like cybersecurity? Because that's increasingly becoming part of the solar conversation. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, that's a very important topic. Um, when, you, when you look how much power generation is nowadays provided by inverters, mm -hmm. inverter-based uh, from PV or from wind, um, then you see that if you would shut down the inverters, this would destabilize the grid. Yeah. And that means um, you have to really make sure that um, the inverters are secure and cannot be hacked and cannot be shut down by any other person that is not allowed to do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, inverters need to, to be controlled to keep the grid stable and safe. Of course. This is all fine. Uh, but the security must be in, in a perfect way so that nobody else can, let's say, attack an inverter yeah. and, and, and play and control the inverter. Yeah, of course. Of course. Great. Where is this all headed to? What's coming next in the kind of three to five? Well, let's talk about five and five and a half year time space because that yeah. gets us out nicely to 2030. Yeah, I mean it comes more and more to a to a to a system approach. So customers are not not seeking anymore for an inverter; they are seeking for a complete ecosystem uh, that they can use. Right. So in the residential area, is supplying also, let's say, at least interfaces to heat pumps, mm -hmm. um, providing a wall box as well. Storage. Uh, providing storage, of course, so a lot of residential systems are already installed with storage. Okay. Um, in the utility scale, it's uh, more about thinking about new power and uh, new voltage levels. Okay. Um, so going to higher voltage levels will lead to use less copper, have higher efficiencies, uh, make the, 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 the resources that you need for utility scale plan less. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the end of the day, this means also sustainability. Yeah, great. Fantastic, Matthijs, that's been really interesting. Thanks a million for joining us on the show today. Thank you, Tom.